Hey everyone, it's Ivan with kitbadger.com here to bring you a tip. Earlier I had done a video on the DG switch and I told you about how this can end up, ah, birds are attacking me, but I told you how this switch can end up getting wrecked and so what we're going to do today is a little hack that will reinforce that so it doesn't get destroyed by your holster, moving it in and out and wreck your switch. This DG switch is just covered with essentially a heat shrink and inherently it's not indestructible or super strong. What we want to do is make sure we don't wreck this. To do that, we have our three things. We have more heat shrink, half inch heat shrink. We have some blue masking tape. You can use any color. I like blue because it matches my eyes. And also our heat source. In this case, a big lighter. So what we're going to do, I will explain right now. Ultimately, we're going to cover this with a second piece of heat shrink, give it a little more durability. But what we want, using our blue, because it matches my eyes, is a piece of masking tape right here. And what this is going to do for us, I'll throw it on there, I'm going to wrap these edges around the switch. What that will do is, even though we're going to cover this with a piece of heat shrink, if our holster starts wearing on this thing and ends up chewing a hole in it, while we are inspecting our switch, like we inspect all our gear, or should, we will then actually see a little bit of blue coming through the additional layer of heat shrink, rather than using this thing and all of a sudden you look down and you see wires coming through, at which point you broke this thing. Go buy a new one. Now that I have my bright blue tape on there, I have my piece of heat shrink. This is half inch heat shrink, which you're going to want because it'll actually make it over the switch. But I obviously have too much here and I would rather cut it beforehand than after. So I'm going to just kind of eyeball pretty much what I need. Take some sort of cutting implement and it should be good. So it's probably, probably about two and a quarter two and a half inches or so. And now that I have this piece, I'm gonna go ahead and just slide it over. It takes a little bit of finesse, but you essentially just work it over that switch and push it all the way back. Once I've got the heat shrink on here, I wanna go ahead and make sure I can push it this way. And I'm gonna keep tension on it there when I apply heat because I want to actually shrink down around this other than have that exposed there. So take my handy lighter, push that forward. Don't get this too close or you'll burn the hell out of it. But get some heat going. After you get this section right here good, get it all shrunk down, it's going to want to kind of bind up a little bit underneath. But once you get that all smoothed out, then you just hit this last section. The easy part. And there we are. We have our second piece of heat shrink and we have our masking tape under there. You can use anything. Ultimately, you just want something visibly that you're going to see should this get worn down because your holster sharp or anything. Smash it on the door, whatever it may be. Don't want to replace this $100 switch. A lot easier to replace some heat shrink. This actually holds up really well, especially if you do a good job and sand your holster so you're not rubbing on it all the time. And last one I put on here lasted probably about three years. And then the only reason I actually changed it out is I was helping a buddy put some on his and I was like, we're here, we have some heat shrink, let's do this thing. So at that point, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that guy on there, lock it in and I'm golden. Good for another three, five, ten years, however long. Ugh, get off me, tree. So, biggest thing is the heat shrink. You want half inch heat shrink, and best place I've actually found to get this, easiest place, go down to your local, uh, where did I get this? To your local Radio Shack, and the stuff's like $3.60 for a four pack, four inches long, you don't need that much. Stuff is easy. Hit me up. I have three more left. I'm not going to need them. I'll go ahead and put a stamp on envelopes, send them out to you. 
save you taking, uh, taking your time to go to Radio Shack. At any rate, thanks for joining us at kitbadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Raise your fist, raise your fist.